Yo, what is up? So, what fantastic news for RDNA 3 and uh, 2 owners, I believe. FSR 4 now works on Windows. So, I'm just going to do a quick video uh, on literally how to install it. And it is very, very easy. So, all you do, I will link the files in the description. Uh, I mean, you can watch Fabio's video from Ancient Gameplays. But this is like a very quick sort of tutorial and then I'm going to check it out, do some videos on it uh, during this week. But yeah, basically uh, what I've done, so you need to download a file, it's a compiled DOL, so it works on RDNA 3 and 2. So it's basically in here, it's just one file and all you do is just paste that over the file inside the game folder. Oh, I'm, I'm literally gonna test it on the rebirth uh, just show you how easy it is so what I've obviously on this one there is no FSR so what you do is you just basically because uh, I've got OptiScaler installed already so if you're using OptiScaler you need to install that first otherwise it will literally overwrite the file right so all you need to do is a uh, pretty much this file you download so I've just made a folder so you can do that if you want for me it's just logical to do that and I can just copy it and then just paste it over the file already in the game folder and then that's it uh, because you've literally just updated it now so that is how you do that so you, that is an RDNA 3 file RDNA 2 slash RDNA 2 then we'll just load it up and see if it works and it should do so i mean cyberpunk you can just download the gpu open files put these three files in and it works without using optiscaler uh, and then you just do the same thing you would just copy this and then paste it over that i'm not going to do it because i want that file in there but yeah so let's uh, load it up. I mean, what I would do for it, other than a three owners would just be make a folder and just paste it over that file, which saves a lot of work. So I'm going to try a few other games. I'm installing Pirate Yakuza. Yeah. So that should keep on too. Alright, well this definitely worked because it come up FSR 4.0.2. So I'm interested to see I mean this is using FSR 4 AA, but Yeah that looks great, that straight away that looks pretty good. So what's the FPS like? So I did look at Fabio's video and the hit isn't as bad as I thought, which is a... Uh, so I do overclock my XTX as well. So maybe it won't be bad at all because I do get like a 10 to 11 to 12 FPS uh, advantage once I overclock from stock settings. But it seems to be alright. But that is amazing. So we got FSR 4.0.2 on the XTX and all the RDNA 3 GPUs and RDNA 2 I think it might be a slightly bigger hit on 2 but again I think uh, this is great this uh... yeah so that's pretty much how you do it so I will be doing some more content on it so I've literally put the XTX back in today so yeah, it's exciting news. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.